Holy Spirit has given me a revelation today is June the 28th, and Holy Spirit is just downloading so much revelation. I've seen increased attacks of the enemy only in order that we be transformed more into the image of Christ Jesus. Because remember, every assignment of the enemy is allowed by God Almighty in order that we would rise up into the righteousness of Christ Jesus, which he has already finished at the cross. The work has already been done at the cross. But we have to rise up in our soul in order to appropriate that righteousness and walk in it. So the Spirit of God has given me so much massive revelation lately as He has shown me attacks of the enemy where people misinterpret and miscalculate and misunderstand your position. And as they see through the tree of the evil of uh, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they are misinterpreting and miscalculating and misunderstanding your position in Christ Jesus. And as a result, they are walking in blindness. It is like the Pharisees where the blind are leading the blind. And Holy Spirit has shown me such revelation in this hour because I have seen the enemy twist and pervert the truth of God and causing people to be stumbling blocks to others because they are misinterpreting and miscalculating the very plans of God for your life. And the Lord is allowing it because within their very heart, are fruit from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. And that fruit we know is death. And as we see Holy Spirit unveil this to us in this hour, He is going to be bringing a divine separation of those that choose to partake of the tree of life and life abundantly, Jesus Christ and His truth alone, and those that are on the fence that are seeing and desiring the tree of the knowledge of good and evil because they have set themselves up as God themselves, as Satan tried to usurp the throne of God because he wanted to be like God. We are not to be like God because there is only one God. But we are created in the very image of God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, Elohim. And the Holy Spirit showed me in this hour that man has put ceilings on you, that the enemy has put ceilings on you, but that God Almighty is breaking those ceilings off of you in this hour because you will no longer be restrained or contained by the confines of man's purposes, man's calculations, and of the enemy's plans and attacks. So the Holy Spirit wants me to decree and declare over you in the power of His Word and truth of the very Word of God that in the name of Jesus Christ, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up in judgment against you, I declare Holy Spirit in you will already prove it to be in the wrong. I declare that they may gather against you, but those that gather against you are not gathering of the Lord. I declare that Holy Spirit... You send forth the Spirit of the Lord and the Spirit of the fear of the Lord to those that are eating of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and speaking lies and slander and gossip about your anointed one's God and that you cause a holy repentance by Holy Spirit to come upon them. In Jesus' name. God, I declare your word of truth, God, that there is a new dimension of glory that your people are entering into. That the ceilings that have been placed over us are totally cut asunder. I take the sword of the Spirit and I cut asunder those ceilings in the mighty name of Jesus. And I declare the miscalculations, the misinterpretations and misunderstandings of man from the evil in their own heart is not going to allow the curses to come upon you and I take the sword of the spirit and I cut off every curse that has been spoken over you from the very pit of hell and I command it to loose you and go into the abyss in the name of Jesus I call in God's word and truth and power that you are a royal priesthood a holy nation a city set on a hill a light that can not be hidden. I take the word of God and I drive it into the core of your soul and the core of your spirit and I declare you are holy. I declare you are a holy 
city in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare you are the righteousness of Christ Jesus. I declare you have the very mind of Christ Jesus, the thoughts, the intentions, the plannings, and the leanings of the very heart of God the Father in Jesus' name. I declare you are accelerated on the highway of holiness. Isaiah 35, 8, where there is no unclean thing, no beast that can get on that highway. I declare your foot are put Put to that highway. Both of your feet are on that highway. And I declare you walk in acceleration by Holy Spirit on the highway of holiness. I declare that the Spirit of the Lord is upon you. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. I declare that you have, with an unveiled face in this hour, had removed from you another veil that God's Word has broken asunder off of you, and that you are looking into the very mirror to the image and reflection of Jesus Christ Himself. And that you are being transformed into that image in this hour from glory to glory. I declare that God in this hour desires to show you the very things that have been fenced in and hidden. Great mysteries of the knowledge of God Almighty. And I declare you are in that fenced in and kept place in the shadow of God Almighty. And that He has given you the spirit of wisdom and knowledge to see Him. And opened up the eyes of your understanding to flood it with the the light of Christ Jesus to know him and to know the inheritance he has for all the saints the very resurrection power that he wrought in Christ Jesus when he raised him from the dead I call in resurrection power into your soul into your spirit I command your spirit Rise up from that place of depression and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise up to a new light. Shine. Be radiant. For your light has come and the glory of God has risen upon you. And God will bring nations to the brightness of your rising. I declare that the key of David opens the door that no man can shut for those that are to be in your life, for those that are to walk with you in the call of Christ Jesus, to open doors of destiny that no man can shut in Jesus' name. I take those same keys of David and I shut every door that is not of God. And I declare it will not be open in the name of Jesus. I declare to you, you are blessed in the city, blessed in the field, blessed going in, blessed going out. I declare you are the head and not the tail. You are above and not beneath. You are the lender and not the borrower. Your storehouses are full. Everything that you put your hand to prospers. And I declare that mercy and truth are bound to your neck where you have favor and high esteem with God and man, not leaning on your own understanding, but in all of your ways, acknowledging God and seeing truly he will and does direct your path. I apply the blood of Jesus over God's word. I ask you, Holy Spirit, watch over it to perform it. And God, over your word, right now, by faith, I declare agreement that it comes forth 100-fold. In Jesus' name, amen.